first technique was one that took place at a longer range. Our second technique that we did was if he comes in a little bit tighter, maybe grabs and controls my weapon. Our third technique, I'm assuming that maybe he's actually got, gotten and grabbed me. Okay, so he comes in, he's going to do, let's just say, a frontal bear cut. Now from here, I might still be able to get my keys, or maybe I have them in my hand. But if he, even if he's got me in a pretty tight grip, I can start stabbing him in the ribs. A few of those, that's not going to feel so good. But if I can't get the ribs, go ahead and grab me again, I can also start hitting the groin. And I can give him a couple pops, or I can knee that. That's going to loosen that up. When I do that, that creates this space. I'm going to pop him a couple times here. This can come up right here. Now I have his shoulder. <clears throat> and I have him right there. I can also dig this in behind his ear. That hurts pretty bad. He's not in a very good spot. He doesn't want to keep doing that. So again, he grabs onto me. As soon as he grabs, or with a bear hug, I start popping this right away, jamming this into his ribs, maybe in his groin as well. I really like the concept of being able to go up into the neck. But notice that I still have his, his shoulder. If you lose that, that's fine, because he's in a downward position. I like the concept of being able to go up with the knee. One last time. As soon as he grabs my hand, it starts going to work. Maybe I have the groin right here. Maybe I need him early. You're going to have to kind of mix it up a little bit based on uh, the exact position that you're in. One last time. So as he's got me, as soon as he's got me, I start poking him, poking him. Even if I get him in the ribs, I can knee that, pump him to the neck. This hurts really badly here behind the ear. He wants to get away from me. I can drill him on the side of the leg, and then I can just 